Hey guys, this is Sophia from the Sophia Diaries and today I'm here to share with you my Hawaii haul slash what I spent my money on. So actually this video is going to be split into sections, fashion, beauty, miscellaneous, and food. Um, I hope you find this enjoyable and if you haven't checked out my Hawaii vlog, definitely check it out below in the description box um, or you can probably find it up here. And yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just start with fashion because that's what I'm mostly excited about anyway. So let's go. So I have this thing that whenever I go traveling, I always try to bring back at least, if I don't buy anything else, at least one piece of jewelry um, just to remember the trip by. And during this trip, I was wandering around, um, they have some grocery stores around, and obviously those grocery stores will be selling a lot of Hawaii um, trinkets and such, and I found these earrings that were gorgeous. It's based on um, a Hawaiian flower, and it's a really dainty piece of jewelry, so let me just show you. Hopefully there's no glare. Um, I actually don't like gold jewelry and I was kind of mad at myself because the day after I purchased this I found them in silver and I was like, oh, we should have just waited. But these are absolutely gorgeous. They are handmade in Hawaii and they're very dainty, they're very soft and honestly no complaints. So the next thing I got was I discovered a small boutique that only sells in Hawaii and they only have two stores I believe um, and they do have a pretty active Instagram and they can I believe ship anywhere. Don't call me on it. I will leave the link of their store and their website and Instagram or whatever in the description box down below because I'm really happy with what I found. Um, anyway, so one of the first things I found was a kimono-esque thing. And it's not going to show up on camera. I'm most likely going to be definitely, well, not even most likely. I will definitely be taking photos of it um, and they will definitely be on my Instagram. So be sure to be following me on Instagram if you want to see any of these items in action. But it is this kimono. Let me find the beginning. Oh, right here. So it is very flowy, it's kind of tie-dyed um, like into a sand color, I don't know if you can see right here, the tie-dye, but it is very flowy, the sleeves are kind of slit, but it kind of hangs very nicely. It is, in my opinion, a maxi um, kimono, so I am, I want to say 5'3", and it kind of drags on the floor a little bit for me, but I loved it so much that I didn't care that it dragged, I was just going to hold it. And then the last thing I got from their store is a straw bag. Now, <sighs> straw bags have been in style for this season, I think. I, I think summer was when they kind of burst into the scene. And any straw bag I've seen is usually like 50 plus dollars and I usually stare at them and I'm like, what's the point of spending so much money on a trend that might not even survive? But the reason why I actually got this bag, it was not on purpose, it was that I brought a backpack and I only brought one small purse-ish bag with me and that was that. But I had got lightly burned on the shoulder and it was so hot I was only wearing like spaghetti straps. And even when, if I wasn't burned, it would have hurt my shoulders a lot because it'd be rubbing against my skin. So I decided that I needed like a cross shoulder bag that I could kind of alternate shoulders. And I found this kind of very last minute while I was like about to check out basically and I was like, oh my god, this is like my dream. And it's not expensive um, and it was like, it is it is a bucket bag shape and I've also been dying to try out the bucket bag trend. So it was kind of a like two in one purchase. This bag was $25 and to me that was a steal because they also had other straw bags that were like 60 bucks um, and I think this was probably the cheapest item I saw in their store besides their jewelry collection. But something else I really loved about it is that even though it's a bucket bag, it actually has um, lining so that you can also um, like close your what's in here really easily like this and then just stuff it back in so no one can take anything out. Um, I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing it all summer and probably into the fall to be honest. So. 
It's not that I purchased like Hawaii specific beauty items, but when I went to their drugstore, um, which in Hawaii it's called Long's Drugs or Long Drugs, something like that. Um, they had a very, very impressive K beauty section, which in all the uh, CVS's and Walgreens I've seen in the States, uh, mainland states, their K beauty section was usually pretty lacking in that um, they really only had face masks and some like lip masks. But I found um, their K beauty section in Hawaii to be great. There was so much skincare and it was not just masks. I mean, they did have masks too, but I chose skincare. I got three items. One was um, a brand Alicia Koi, which I've never heard of. Um, it's a moist up, super high. Hyaluron cream. Basically, I'm all about hydration recently um, because my skin, even in the summer, can get pretty dry sometimes. I'm just kind of stocking up basically, and I hope this works. Um, it's also supposed to be anti wrinkle and brightening, um, which I can always go for. And then, but from the same brand, I also got their Moist Up Super Hyaluron and Pure Serum. Um, I haven't used a serum in a while because I usually just prefer oils, um, but I know that serums in general work better to give me that hydration boost that I want, so I decided to give this serum a try in tandem with their moisturizer. And then the last thing I got is kind of something really gimmicky, which I'm probably going to do a review of um, pretty soon, and that is a pore steam cleanser. Um, pores for me, oh this is a brand by JJ Young, pores for me is kind of a pretty big deal. I am really self-conscious of my pores so I hope this works. Um, it's supposed to be an exfoliate and face wash at the same time so we'll see how this works. Um, like I said I'll probably be doing a review on this so we'll see. So where we were staying it was kind of like an apartment home, kind of like an Airbnb and so we had a kitchen and my boyfriend's dad made us meals, um, especially breakfast and lunch and so we were at Safeway a lot and we were also like a block away from Safeway so I went there once and what was great about their Safeway in Hawaii was that any snacks that they had or any food that they had they would have a local sign so you knew it was probably only found in Hawaii and so the first day I was there like the first full day I found that they had um, matcha Hawaiian shortbread hopefully you can see that and I was like, yes. First of all, shortbread's always a yes in my book, and so is matcha. So this combo was amazing. And it was so good. I it was so good that I finished it within the first day or two. Not just by myself, obviously, I shared it around. But then before I left, I bought another box. And then the day I left, I bought a second box because I had space in my suitcase. So I was like, of course, I'm going to bring back more. These are really good. So if you ever go to Hawaii, you should definitely go to Safeway because they have some really amazing local snacks in there that you probably can't find anywhere else. Um, and because that one was so good, I decided to try out their Kona coffee flavor, which I've heard that apparently Kona coffee is um, Hawaiian specific coffee. And this is also amazing. Like honestly, this was one of the best finds I found in Hawaii and I bought three boxes back because it was that good. Um, I'm really a big fan of boutiques because there's always a lot of like little trinkets that you can't find anywhere else in big stores. So there was two boutiques that, well boutique stores that I went to in, um, that was near where we were staying in the town called Old Kapa. One of the um, stores is Kiko's. So I found this um, I don't know, ceramic tile. I'm gonna here. Oh, sorry. Here. And I'm really just gonna be hanging this up on my cork board right over my desk. Um, I just loved like this as a reminder. Um, sometimes we need that reminder. And I don't know, I thought it was really cute. Um, and they had a lot of great ones. I actually wanted to buy another one, but I decided to just stick with a pretty generic one just in case anything bad ever happened to me. And this can be all encompassing basically. And then just before I checked out, because you know that there's always going to be some good stuff just before I check out, um, I saw this key ring, which I'm going to hopefully you can read. 
Okay, but if not, this is what it says. Most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be by Abe Lincoln, which is so true on very many levels, and that is the kind of happiness I strive for myself. So I thought this was a great reminder. Definitely gonna put this on my keys. And then the last boutique we went to was called Curious. It was great because at that point, it was the weekend of their one year anniversary sale for when their store got crashed by a car. So they were having 20% off, but it was a really cute boutique that I would have purchased something from regardless of that sale. But I found this really cool thing called Truth or Dare for couples. Um, and basically it's like, 50 cards and you can ask your, your boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other to their day questions and I thought it was really cute again at the counter I got suckered in to buying something else and that was um, this yin and yang um, enamel pin I don't know what it is about enamel pins but this was just too gorgeous to pass up um, and I'm also a big fan of yin and yang because I believe in it so I'm definitely putting this in my backpack. So those are the things that I got in my Hawaiian trip. I hope you had, I don't know, fun watching this or inter like seeing this. Um, I will link what I can link in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the description box down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But if not, I will see you next Sunday for another video. Bye!